Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I am your melanated queen and hostess. I hope you all are doing well today. Heute ist Samstag. Today is Saturday. Das Wetter is uh, extremely heiß. Es ist sehr heiß. Okay, it's very hot today. Um, let's look at the weather and see. It's 90 degrees today, okay? So it's pretty hot for me. And I'm going to keep this message very brief and short. I have some things to do today and I have some studying to do as well. But as always, I just want to keep this on a positive note and deliver you the best message I can as possible. I have some things right here in my notes and so we're just going to go ahead and get into this. So far, uh, as it pertains to the COVID situation, um, it does appear that uh, Tanzania has actually banned face masks out in that country. If you're not familiar, Tanzania is located in Africa, you all. And so basically the government and the president out there um, is banning the face masks. Now I know a lot of people, excuse me for looking up, but there is like this big insect looking creature in here and I'm just hoping that he doesn't come over here and bother me because if so, I'm gonna have to kill him. But anyway, as I was saying, a lot of people are saying that in the sweltering heat, it is extremely difficult when you go out in public to wear the face mask and to be able to breathe. So I just wanted to make the assimilation there and the correlation as it pertains to uh, Eric Garner, as it pertains to George Floyd, as it pertains to these negative uh, reinforcements and affirmations that have been placed over the melanated community where they keep uh, reciting the phrase, I can't breathe. I think he's gonna try to come over here, y'all. If this thing comes over here, he's going to get killed. It's big too. I don't know, it's like a wasp or something. I'm not really good with uh, or familiar with the insects. So I could be incorrect, but I should go get a can of bug spray and zap him. Anyway, you all, so I just wanted to point that out, um, you know, continuing to say that you can't breathe and then wearing face masks. Um, just make the correlation there. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I uh, know out in Virginia, they've actually made it mandatory. Now, this is not a law, but they've somehow made it mandatory that they can uh, address your wardrobe and make you wear a mask uh, whenever you enter into any business or premise um, or any premises. So I think that is a bit crazy you all also I have been told that there were curfews put in place uh, during the riots uh, Virginia had an 8, 8, an 8 o'clock an 8 p.m. curfew you all so just think about it you will have us in the house basically we're under house arrest right along with the celebrities I am so sorry but this thing is just flying all over the place I hope he leaves up out of here okay I don't trust anything that's behind me and I have good peripheral vision. Um, but yeah, so just imagine how it feels. Basically, we're being babysat, you all. We're on punishment, we're on house arrest, we have curfews, we're being told what to wear. Come on, what does this sound like? Uh, it's crazy, it's almost like a dictatorship. And then on top of that, you have the uh, police and all types of governmental officials in the streets telling us what to do. Okay, so these are some very unsettling times, you all. Also, Ghana has actually made, um, they did pay tributes to um, George Floyd. So what I wanted to uh, talk about as it pertains to that is basically the entire world has been under, and I'm going to say it again, a ritualistic practice. They're getting your energy involved in this. And more so importantly, melanated en energy is always under attack. It has always been under attack. Our energetic field is extremely powerful, you all. So just um, be very careful where you resonate your energy and how you focus your energy um, like I said they need your energy to thrive and to survive so just be very careful with that um, I wanted to also point out that <laughs> I don't know which one I should touch on first Amazon or Kanye West you all Kanye West let's go there no nope, let's go to Amazon because I thought this was extremely interesting Amazon if you have a fire stick Amazon has a message posted um, on the fire stick you all and let me let you sh let me show you the the agenda that's being uh, 
issued out here. The, the same thing that I just discussed on the other video when you tune into the Xbox, the Black Lives Matter agenda. So like I said, they have infiltrated virtual reality and they're sending out mass emails across different corporations, different companies. I got an email from the gym. Uh, I know people are getting emails at the workplace. And so all of a sudden they want to talk about it. And so let me just let you let me let you see exactly what this states. Uh, Black Lives Matter, you all, if you can see this. If it's going to zoom in, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is. Black Lives Matter. And as you see, it says Amazon stands in solitar solidarity with the black community. Really, Amazon? Is that right? You know, because if this is really the case and so many of these companies are so supportive of the black lives out here, out here that have been lost, that have suffered, um, you know, the ancestors that have um, gone before us and paved the way for us, then you would think when they speak about reparations, okay, that there would be no issue. However, I don't see anyone writing us a check. I don't see anybody going into that bank account getting these millions and billions of dollars that they use to enforce the Black Lives Matter agenda to make melanated life any easier, any better, less complex, less sophisticated, less complicated. I don't see that happening, but yet we can post, we can send messages. We can do all these things in the media to make it look like we are so concerned about the Black Lives Matter agenda. The facade needs to stop you all. This is a bunch of madness. And like I said, if people really cared, their actions would follow suit. Okay, so enough of that like i said you're insulting us let's get into kanye west i just wanted to let you all know that the george floyd had a um um basically some type of foundation or a george floyd fund and many celebrities have been donating to this fund if many celebrities could donate to that fund then guess what many celebrities could donate to a lot of things that uh, affect the melanated community which uh, i think they get to write these things off on their taxes anyway so it's not like it's really hurting them but yet and still the melanated community is still in dire straits and suffering why because we're all so individualistic why because we don't really care about the common agenda it's only something that we can hop on when it's trending and then once this dies out we're going to go back to our individual individualistic lives which is exactly why if something should go awry you cannot count on your brethren so let me give you an example Say someone needs a job. In other communities, do you know what they do? They put in a recommendation, they introduce them, they stick together, the next thing you know, that uh, recommendation, that person that was recommended has a job. With the melanated community, they don't even have, they don't even have the ability to do that a lot of times because they're not in the position to do that. And if they are, a lot of times they don't want to help. Why? Because it's competition. Because they still have the Willie Lynch syndrome, you all. So just think about that uh, for a moment. Now let's get into Kanye, you all. Because it has been stated that Kanye has donated, I want to say $2 million to the George Floyd cause to the George Floyd Fund. I think he actually made a $2 million donation and it's supposed to actually help his alleged daughter for college. So let me go ahead and up, let me play this for you. You're back here with Clever News, giving you all the updates surrounding Kanye West's involvement with George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor's families following their deaths. In light of the Black Lives Matter movement's I just wanna say a uh, shout out to Breonna Taylor. You know, if that story is, uh, um, real um, for Ahmaud Arbery if the story is real and for George Floyd if the story is real I don't want to make light of anything that's going on with these atrocities but I do want you to see the narrative and the agenda that's being spun around all of this okay
Following the death of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and so many others, Kanye West has remained pretty silent, which of course has upset many people. But Kanye has put his money to good use. Kanye West opened up his checkbook without an ounce of hesitation and recently donated $2 million to black resistance causes and started a college fund for George Floyd's six-year-old daughter. While he is yet to speak out about the $2 million offering, Kanye made donations to charities in support of George, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor. Following those donations, he also set up a 529 college fund for Gianna Floyd while helping with legal costs to help assist with Ahmaud and Brianna's murder. Kanye West has also promised to support more Black-owned businesses in his hometown of Chicago. This comes after many on Twitter called out Kanye for not speaking out during the Black Lives Matter movement when he normally isn't one to hold back his feelings on current events. Fan all right, I'm going to stop it right there because why should it take fans to call him out on Twitter? And secondly, and we're just going to say again, this whole Black Lives Matter agenda and movement, we already know is being funded by George Soros and has been funded by George Soros. I already broke that down. He is a multi-billionaire, you all, and he has dual citizenship from Hungary and the United States. George Soros does not look like you. So there is an objective and an agenda behind the Black Lives Matter movement. Make no mistake about it. And if Black Lives Matter was going to get us anywhere, we would have gotten somewhere by now. Now, and you may not be aware, Sonetta and my son is out in New York today or was out in New York earlier marching, okay? Under the guise of Black Lives Matter. And guess what they were quoting? <sighs> no races, police. Yeah, you know, this, the same scenario. This was going on. So people were coming into the chats in the comment section and they were actually trying to forewarn Sanetta and try to make him aware that you're marching with the enemy. Um, you know, you are basically going against the true agenda when you're going into a situation where the opposition is funding your um <laughs> funding your protest and so he did he tried to defend it he said oh well you know it's everybody out here we have caucasians we have hispanics we have asians and maybe that is the case but a lot of them are not aware of um the agenda that's being pushed they're not aware that george soros is has been funding black lives matter so they sincerely feel that they're standing up for a common cause but they're being misled right along with all the other protesters all right so just because everybody else is joining in the same situation does not make it so that it's not infiltrated that's just like <laughs> you know somebody saying oh uh we're gonna go over here and do this and then someone comes and infiltrates that situation and just because we got everybody on board we got all different cultures on board so it has to be a good thing to do but yet and still you had someone to infiltrate what you were trying to do so it still does not make sense so i don't know if sonetta knows this i would assume so since he has been uh quote unquote in the conscious movement for many many years before i even knew about him um and that's how i found out about some of the people that i watched today so shout out to him for that but i have to scratch and question things when it looks a little shaky you all um and then i also want to let you know that on here it says clever for black lives matter clever supports the naacp fight for and then it has a donate button i would be real cautious and careful you all about making these donations because when you make the donations guess what that's funding that george soros allegedly could use for black lives matter okay um when it says two thousand four hundred eighty four dollars of a thousand dollars is raised we have 23 days left i'm gonna let you see that for yourselves if you can see that right up in here so you all they're they're making this a big money scheme as well which is another insult to the melanated community because if you really cared about melanated lives and the melanated agenda then all of us should be getting a check right now if you ask me melanated beings should not even have to go through half of the things they go through half we probably shouldn't even have to pay for linen cotton bed sheets towels washcloths anything that contains cotton if you really want to go there uh from the situation where our ancestors were out in the plantation and not all of us like i said not all of us were in slavery but when you talk to enough people 
there were some people that were enslaved. So if this is the case and this is the theory and the theme that you want to feed us, okay, we shouldn't have to pay for clothes. We shouldn't have to pay for any type of cotton, any type of linens, any comforters, bed set sheets, all of that stuff should be free. And let's not get into the way our land was stolen. Let's not get into how our people, okay, were assaulted, were raped, were violated on so many different levels and are still inundated with these antics today. We are still being mentally traumatized. We are still being mentally manipulated with Black Lives Matter. And these things are pushed in our faces, okay? And it affects how we feel emotionally and psychologically and physiologically we respond to these things. This is why I come on and make these videos because I just want you to understand you all, the agenda behind how your melanated energy is being used against you um, for the opposing, the opposition, okay? Um, and so I just want us all to join forces and spread knowledge. Don't let them infiltrate your cause, you all. If you want to support Black Lives Matter, do your research and due diligence to see who's funding, who's behind it, where your money is going if you're going to donate to these causes, okay? And especially if you're going to donate to George Floyd. Um, I know many times, many years ago when Katrina hit, um, we wanted to go out and we went and bought all these different items to try to send to the Katrina victims only to find out that a lot of the donations were being taken to Texas. Remember that storm also um, hit, it, it fell down in Texas as well. And when they actually showed the footage, Texas was not hit anywhere nearly as badly as Hurricane Katrina. So you all, these are the tactics that they um, like to, to run over, um, over people. And also when 9-11 hit, I remember that I was very young when that happened. I went into the bank and they asked me if I wanted to donate. I donated $5, but guess what? My heart was in the right place. But if everybody, uh, like say you have a million people and they all don donate a, a dollar or five dollars you've just made one to five million dollars under the guise of saying that there was a terrorist attack and we know that that was not even a real terrorist attack those buildings were detonated you all so um and you can thank your government for that i just want to let you know don't let these people scam you out of your money i don't even care if it's a dollar uh do your research before you give up your hard-earned money however you got it even if it's a free check it's still your money okay and the way that i see it they owe us a whole lot more than this so all the words all the emails all the messages all the posts could never compare to the atrocities that our melanated beings have faced are facing and continue to face today in the wake of a George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, a Breonna Taylor, um, a Trayvon Martin, you know, and these are just some of the few. And um, I just wanna let you know that I did hear that some of these situations have heavily involved the Masons. So, um, you know, do your research on that um, because a lot of things that we hear don't actually appear the way that we think that they are. Um, so I just wanted to point these things out, you all. Just be very well informed. Thank you so much for your time. I'm not going to hold you much longer. I will leave you with a German phrase. And let's just see. Um, just a second, you all. I'm thinking here. Wo wohnst du? Okay. Where do you live? Wo wohnst du? Wo wohnst du? Where do you live? All right. Um, shout out to the melanated kings, melanated queens, um, all the little princes and princesses. Continue to walk in your divinity and stay abundantly blessed, stay healthy, and above everything, please continue to stay abreast with the knowledge. Thank you so much. Until next time.